Okay, good afternoon, grade 10 diamond. Good afternoon. How are you feeling today? Great, I hope you are all prepared for our discussion this afternoon. Okay, may I request everyone to stand up and can I ask Miss Marielle to lead the prayer? And then Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Amen. Before you sit down, class, kindly look around you and pick some pieces of paper or any trashes. Okay? And then make yourself comfortable. Alright. So are, are we all settled now, class? I guess you are. So now, I'm going to check your attendance. Just say present once your name is called. Okay? Okay. So where is Miss Abok? Present. And lastly, where is Miss Yendok? Okay, great. I am so glad that all of you are present today. And with that, can you give yourselves a round of applause? And now I'm going to remind you again with our classroom rules. So, let me just fix this one. So, first, raise your right hand if you want to answer or ask a question. Second, listen carefully whenever someone's talking in front of you. Okay? Third, respect your teacher and your classmates. And lastly, refrain from using gadgets in our discussions unless required by your teachers. Okay? Did I make myself clear, class? Okay, thank you. Now, before we go to our discussion for today. I'm just going to ask you if you have something, learnings from our past discussion, okay? So, what was our last discussion about class? Okay, Ms. Saro? Very good! Our last discussion was all about the elements of poetry. And now, I guess you are all ready now for our next discussion. And I will give now the floor to our my co-teacher, Ma'am Victoria. Thank you. Alright, now we will be having our adventure for today. Are you all excited to our adventure for today? We'll be going to explore, um, discovering new things and acquiring new ideas. Are you all excited? Yes, that's the energy. So do I. I am so excited to our um, adventure for today. But before that, um, let's watch a short video presentation first. So I have here uh, a video presentation. So all you need to do is to watch, um, listen carefully, relax and enjoy as we'll be having our um, activity later on. So please watch. Thank you. 
papers and precious under your chair. Thank you. Again, once again, good afternoon class. By the way, I'm Teacher Desk. Today, we will start our lesson with new blocks of learning. So, as Teacher Victoria made you watch the story Orpheus, this time, we will talk about the five elements of a plot. The plot of a story. So, now, there are five elements of a plot. So, before that, what is plot? So, plot, plot is the events or actions that drive a story. So, in plot, there are, there are five elements, namely, first is the exposition, next is the rising action, the climax, the falling action, and what? Yes, the resolution. Thank you. So, now, the five elements of a plot. So, plot, Again, it has five elements, and the first element of the plot is the exposition. Exposition is the beginning of a story. So usually, exposition, um, there are five um, views of exposition. So, for example, there are flashbacks, or the setting and plot description of a story. Another one, yes, yes, Maria, yes, the letters from the past. Another example, yes, very good. Oh yeah, plot description and setting description. So the next element of a story of a plot is the rising action. So the rising action is the one that the part that leads to the climax. So why the rising action? It leads to the climax, where again the climax is the pro the problem of the story, the primary problem of the story. So next element of the story, the middle part of the plot, which is the climax. So once again, it is what? Yes, I mean, yes, the problem of a story. The next part of the story is the falling action. So the falling action is the part which lead up to our resolution. And the last part of our elements of the plot is the exposition. Exposition is Properly, the ending of the story. So usually, the exposition it has exposition has um, the character's view of what will happen after the story, not just also the ending. And not all endings, remember, not all endings are happy endings of the story. There are also continuation of other stories. So the, those are the five elements of the plot. So who can um, dictate the five elements of the plot? Yes. Yes, very good. So let's give uh, Maria a hand of applause, please. Yes, very good. So now, I have a question for you. Um, based on the five elements of the plot, what do you think is the theme of the story or fears? Yes? Yes, very good. The theme of the story or fears is that love is greater than so aside from that um, statement, I have another question. What do you think is the connection of the plot of a story from the real life situations? Yes? Wow, amazing answer. Thank you. So let's give um, Paul a round of applause. Thank you everyone, thank you for listening. I hope you learned something from our discussion. So now we will have uh, Mr. David Spires to take over our activity. So they want some activities. Yes, so thank you everyone for, for listening. Good day students. I hope you learned all the things that I taught you in the lesson about the elements of the story. Because for this part of our session, you are going to use those obtained knowledge for our activity. I uploaded uh, a Google Classroom activity in your Google Classroom in which you are assigned to create a story map based on the stories from the last quarter. After you're done creating your story map, please upload it to your Google Classroom so that I may be able to create it. And here's a kicker afterwards. After you're done creating with your story map and after everything, I'm going to randomly pick five students from the class to present their thoughts and to present their story. Uh, am I clear? Any questions? Okay, not so far. So, you may begin.
regard to the prior activity earlier, it seems that every one of you is done with the Google Classroom activity. And now, let's move on to the next activity I'm going to give you. It's on the quizzes app. And I already uploaded the link for the quizzes app, so you can now begin answering. And also, in regard to the activity earlier about the random picking of five students, it, it will be done next meeting, so consider it as a time for preparation just in case you'll be called. And if you have any questions, don't be shy to ask because I'm going to answer it and there will be no judgment at all. So, any questions? Alright, you may now begin. So, in a quiz is up, if you encounter any problems or anything, just ask me right now. So, here we are again. And now our session is nearing completion. And let us begin ending this session with our takeaways or personal understanding of the lesson. So, I'm going to ask you two questions. Don't worry, there will be no judgment on your answers. There will be no right or wrong answers since this is a personal understanding. And everyone is encouraged to join. And here, I'm going to ask you two questions. And please, cooperate. The first question is, in your own words, describe a plot development from the story we've been studying and reflect on the emotional response it evoked you. Again, in your own words, describe a plot development from the story we've been studying and reflect on the emotional response it evoked you. So is the question clear? All right, let's proceed to the next question. Question number two, how did this plot development affect your understanding of the characters and their motivations. Again, how did this plot development affect your understanding of the characters and their motivations? So, and beforehand, before you proceed to go home, there's one thing, one final thing I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you an assignment. The assignment will be about creating your own story using the five elements of the story, and it will be passed on the next meeting. And now we are done. I hope you enjoyed our session and please enjoy the rest of the day. And I hope you learned a lot of things because we discussed a lot of things. And I hope we enjoyed our moments together. I hope we did, we taught you well and we hope you understand the things well.